Hi, I'm Charlie DeMoss, and I'm from Norfolk Senior High. Speak the truth! And my poem is called Stars. Staring at two month old sugar cookies, I turn to my brother and say, Our house has a distinct lack of stars. And he brushes me off, disappointed, bag shrug. At least I have these cookies trying their best to be shaped like stars. Not even our Christmas tree has a star. All it has is fake Hobby Lobby foliage zip tied to its top, erupting like a volcano. I was in third grade science, nearly falling out of my seat from how high I held my hand, excitedly yelling, the sun is a star. I felt proud to be the only kid in the room who knew where the teacher was going. That's all it took for me to be proud back then. Just a couple of YouTube videos and random facts. For years, I asked my teacher when we would learn about the fourth state of matter, because yes, there are four, not three. Still, they would talk about solids, liquids, and gases, and I, with stars in my eyes, would ask about the stars in the sky, the fourth state of matter plasma, the other 99.9% .9 of the universe that solids, liquids, and gases don't make up. What about those gorgeous stars? The answer never changed. It's a few grades down the road, not here, not now. Did the septillion stars in the sky not matter? When I learned about plasma, I wasn't even in double digits. A septillion, it's inconceivable, yet they don't matter. I liked school. I loved to learn every little bit of information I could. Because maybe one day it would all connect in a brilliantly dazzling way I could understand. Maybe learning about Mario and Luigi's genetics and how to do Punnett squares in the fourth grade would somehow connect to all the secrets of the universe. Maybe one day everything from the small to the large could matter. But instead, school is where all 50 stars on the American flag taunt me during a 48 minute test in US history, all while writing a five page essay. That's not enough time to write about Brown v. the Board of Education with all the love and attention it deserves. I simply cannot do that in 48 minutes, minus the time it takes to catch my breath during a panic attack. The O2 I wrote about in science during first period that day wasn't enough to last me until eighth. But I guess, in the end, equal rights for all students don't matter as much as a test worth 85% of my grade. I've always wanted to write about the things that matter. I wanted to write about matter. I wanted the plasma in my blood to scatter like the plasma in the sky. People look to the stars for direction to find north. It's in the stars, they say. I want to be a star, but I guess I'll settle for a misshapen sugar cookie instead.